Hey, it's Brad Walker again. Um, get ready to put the power supply in now. Have the motherboard, CPU, and the RAM in. So let's begin. Right, this is a modular power supply. Modular means um, there's different wires that you can either add or take away so that you don't have as much uh, wire clutter in your case, so to say. But some make some wires that you do need. This is a, I believe it's a 24 pin. I think you can either have a 20 pin or a 24 pin motherboard. And this one, I do believe, is a 24 pin. And by the way, this is an ATX case. This is an ATX motherboard. That's just the form factor. It's very important that you get... You gotta have the correct form factor for all your parts, like the motherboard and the case. Because... If you get a... Like, say, a BTX case and try to put an ATX motherboard in it, it won't... The standoffs won't match the motherboard. That's very important. So this power supply has a fan for cooling the power supply. It gets very hot, so it's very nice. And uh, there's actually a vent here on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. There's a vent here. This is going to sit on. So basically, just stay in there. Line it up with the back here. This is an area so. And there are four screws I'm going to put in this. So. And I recommend that before you try to build your own computer, do a lot of research to, uh, you know, so you understand what you're doing. If you do not want to mess up, so you don't want to have to rebuy computer parts, they can get really really expensive and quick. Okay, now just take your screwdriver and Tighten them up. Okay, that's in there. That's nice and secure to you. And that, my friends, is how you put the power supply in. Very simple. So I'll see you in the next part, part five.